Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and do a quick little braces update. Tomorrow I'm going to the orthodontist to get my second adjustment done. I wanted to let you know how the dark pink bands held up this month, well for the last seven weeks, and any changes I've had to my teeth. So the last time I went I got the dark pink, I don't know if you can see that, but I got the dark pink bands. They didn't fade, they didn't change at all, they look exactly the same way they did seven weeks ago when I got them put on, so that's good, but I am pretty darn tired of looking at the dark pink. I like change too much to have the same color for seven weeks. I wish my appointments were closer together and I didn't have to wait so long to change the color, but that's just the way it works. So I've had this color for almost two months and I'm really excited to get it changed tomorrow. I haven't made up my mind what color I'm going to go with tomorrow. I'm deciding between light pink because it won't be as noticeable as the dark pink, a silver, smoke, or a blue color, like a teal or a light blue. So since my last adjustment, I only had one tooth move. Everything else stayed exactly the same, which is really frustrating because I think tomorrow when I go in, he's going to say my teeth still haven't moved enough to put the bottom braces on, and I really want those suckers to get on so I can get them off. <laughs> I did lose one of my pink bands. See, this tooth here, this tooth here does not have a band on it. It came off when I was brushing my teeth one day. I spit it right down the sink. <laughs> so that happened maybe two days ago, so I didn't feel like calling the dentist and asking about it. I figured he would just stay to wait. Back from the orthodontist where I had the top teeth completely manhandled and I got the bottom braces on. Uh, talking is very weird to me right now, so I don't know how it's looking in this video. Um, but it's not easy to talk. Because I have all these little sharp bits stabbing me in the lip. <laughs> I've already sliced my lip open on the side here. Um, I've been bleeding since I've been home because I keep cutting it in different places. I was at the appointment for about an hour and a half today had my had those things in your mouth that hold it open for the entire time and I have uh, TMJ or lockjaw and so that was really hard on my jaw to hold it open like that or to have it held open like that my bottom jaw was actually quivering for like the last 45 minutes uh, I had to keep stopping and taking breaks I'm actually kind of glad now I didn't have the top and bottom put on at the same time because I really don't think I would have been able to keep my mouth open for that long so I'm gonna get close and show you what they did because they did a lot to my mouth this time so I went with the light pink bands as you can see it looks really crazy with these big ass braces on the bottom you can really see how crooked my bottom teeth are now that the braces are on. It makes it kind of more obvious. And these two teeth here are so close together. They're so um, overcrowded that she actually wasn't even able to get the pink band onto this tooth right here. So I'm missing a band there. It's hard to see. It's hard to see in the video because the pink is so light. But I also don't have bands on these two teeth here she said these were too tight also they put a bunch of ligature ties on again on these teeth on this tooth on these teeth and a bunch of teeth down here all got the ligature ties the the metal ties that they twist around your teeth because they said my teeth are going to be problem teeth and they are stubborn and they don't want to move they also said that if these two teeth don't move by the next time i go in they're going to put a spring on them I imagine that's not going to be pretty, so I'm not looking forward to that, and I really hope these teeth move. She kept trying to put a lot of pressure on them with a metal tie thing. She kept like tying and tying, and she would say, are you feeling pressure now? Do you feel anything now? And I'd say, no, I don't feel anything. Uh, it didn't feel like pressure or pain or anything like that. So she made it sound like because I wasn't feeling pressure on that tooth that it probably wasn't going to move. So that blows. Uh, So yeah, I keep cutting my lip in here. I'm cutting, I keep cutting my lip on here. I got used to what it felt like for the top braces. You kind of just get used to it and I won't say forget they're there because I definitely know they're there all the time, but you just get used to it. So now I'm having to get used to all of this down on the bottom and these suckers are so dang sharp. 
So what do you guys think of the light pink? Do you think they're as noticeable as the dark pink ones were? I think they're less noticeable. Uh, still quite noticeable. My lips stick out. My lips stick out really far. I feel like my bottom lip is like a foot away from my face. And I want to make a fish face all the time and like wrap my lips around my braces. And just make faces and look ridiculous. It's actually quite annoying too. My husband will be sitting next to each other watching TV or something and I'll be like popping my lips or doing weird shit with my lips and he's like, will you stop it? You're making me crazy with that. And I don't even realize I'm doing it. I just do it all the time out of habit. I think it feels weirder than the top ones did. It feels bigger. I think there's less space between your lip and your bottom teeth than there is between your top lip and your teeth. And so it just feels like my lip is like this. My next braces appointment isn't until mid-September, so that's another seven weeks that I'm stuck with them like this. I don't know when I'm going to do another braces vlog. I don't know if I'll wait until mid-September when I get my next adjustment done or if I'll do it sooner. It might be a little bit different. There might be something I might want to talk about or discuss now that I have the bottom braces on. So, um... Yeah, we'll see, and if anybody has any questions, let me know, and I'll answer them the best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, but I will see you guys soon. Bye.